Council will come to order. It is 7.02 p.m. And we do have a quorum. Uh, Councilmember Schaffner is out of town on business and did notify us appropriately that he would not be here. In just a moment, I will ask you to stand and we'll be led in an opening prayer by Pastor Barry Klingen of the Church of Trophy Lakes. And then we'll be led in uh, our pledges to the American flag and the Texas flag by Councilmember Garassi. Please stand. Let's pray together. Our Father, as we come together for our meeting tonight, we stop for a moment and acknowledge you. Lord, we pray that, Lord, you would bless us as we meet and do the business of the city. Father, we know and recognize that you are the author and finisher of everything, and that, Lord, you are the one that brings every good and perfect gift from heaven. And, Lord, we're thankful today as a people. And Father, I pray today, I pray for our mayor. Lord, thank you for him. Thank you for his many years of service. Thank you for his wisdom and his calm, steady hand that's led this city through so many things. Pray you bless him and his family. Lord, I pray for our town manager and for all the staff that serve this city. I pray you'd watch over all of them. I pray you'd protect them in these days. I pray you'd watch over them with uh, the sickness of the virus for all of us to keep us safe and protected. Father, I pray for our fire chief and all of our firemen that, Lord, you'd watch over them and keep them safe as they serve us, especially for our policemen, for our chief of police, and all of our policemen that serve us so faithfully in the town of Trophy Club. Watch over them, watch over their families, I pray, and keep them safe. Lord, we love you, we honor you, and we ask you to bless us tonight as we go about the business of this city. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and an individual. You may be seated. <clears throat> It is time to allow public comments. This is an opportunity for citizens to address the council on any matter. The council is not permitted to take or discuss any presentation made to the council presentations or limited to matters over which the county has authority. You may speak up to four minutes or a time limit determined by the presiding officer. Each speaker must complete a speaker's form and include the topics to be presented. You may also submit an email to mayor and council at trophyclub.org. And so do I have anybody here that wants to speak? I do have a slip, but that person's not here. Oh, you are. Okay, you weren't five minutes ago, were you? Okay, Brad, if you want to come forward, state your name and address, and then you have your time to address yes, us. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. My name is Bradley Hobrick. I reside in uh, Trophy Club, Texas at number 48 Cypress Court here in Trophy Club, Texas. So I've been a resident of Trophy Club here since, uh, personally, since 2012. Uh, my parents have been here since 2005. That makes me a resident for about eight years, and my parents for 15. I built my home eight houses up the street from my parents because I like this town. It's a, it was a nice place to live. It was the gem of the area. And Hogan's Glen was supposed to have been that gem within Trophy Club. It was a nice place to live, and we had a nice community in which to live, and nice water features behind our homes. And now, due to some events that have uh, occurred, uh, these problems have resulted in that we've got PD30, which I believe has a failed uh, stormwater and uh, pollution protection program. Every time it rains, uh, my parents' home floods. And uh, I think it's wrong. Uh, I was in the United States Army, and one of the values that I live by is integrity. And uh, so I've got some photos here that I wanted to uh, produce for the council members. This is a photo just taken about an hour ago behind my home. And I'd like to uh, disseminate these for the council members to review, if I may. That there shows a photo there that was taken about an hour ago. Uh, this is a photo of some uh, uh, rats that have been appearing uh, in my uh, outdoor kitchen area behind my home as a result of uh, me having to trap these uh, 
poor creatures uh, to get rid of them because I got an infestation of rats as a result of all the silt and sediment and trash that's blowing into the uh, into our uh, water features. So uh, eight houses down the street from me at my folks' house. Uh, Dad had a retaining wall that was built there by the uh, builder that built his home. And now every time it rains, it's washing out the structure behind underneath his retaining wall and taking out the retaining wall. So this photo here was taken on September 13th of 2020. It shows some residents and some helpers that went out to remove tires and trash that were found in our water features there as a result of the silt and sediment and trash that's blowing in from PD30. I have some photos here of my niece and my nephew back in 2007 that were fishing at the water feature behind my parents' home. It's a beautiful place, as you can see, so you can compare how it looked then with how it looks now. And I think any right person that looked at that and seen that would agree that it's gonna be a great degradation of the features. So I'm here to ask the council to assist us with this problem. Uh, we, the residents, uh, many of the residents there in Hogan's Glen are concerned that this uh, stormwater protection program uh, that the city had approved uh, for PD30 is a failure. And it's gonna continue to cause residents within our community to suffer as a result of this. It's wrong, gentlemen, it's wrong. And that's why I'm here to speak my mind about it. Mr. Mayor. All right, thank you, sir. Is that the only person we had, Letty? Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> All right, we will then move on to announcements and reports. Uh, item number one, receive Town Manager Norwood's update regarding the following. September 21st, 2020, Park and, Rec Park and Rec's board meeting report. Michael Garassi do that or someone else. And the Trophy Club Women's Club Fall Garage Sale, Saturday, October 17th, 2020, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the Trophy Club Community Household Hazardous Waste Disposal uh, for Saturday, October 24th, 2020, 9 a.m. to 11 uh, p.m. And then we have two business spotlights. So, Steve, you want to sure. talk? Uh, as you said, the Trophy Club Women's Club is having their uh, fall uh, garage sale will be this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2. Uh, I believe you can get permits at uh, Tom Thumb, uh, but uh, this is usually uh, well attended and uh, it does generate some, definitely some interest in the community. Also, uh, the following Saturday, October 25th, is our household hazardous waste disposal. We had one in the spring that was canceled due to COVID. Uh, this one- uh, The 24th, the 24th right? right? Yes, October 24th. Okay. okay. Um, and it says 9 to 11. It'll be a little longer than that. The new agreement that we reached with uh, Republic uh, moves that to about three to four hours yeah. for the event. Uh, again, this is very well attended, and uh, we're, we'll have discussions with uh, Republic on how we handle the, the one that we got missed because that is factored into our, our monthly rate. So. Um, I know we've had quite a few calls asking about the disposal. So, uh, so that concludes my reports. All right, so at this time we have a business spotlight of several businesses in town. Uh, we have, just a second, write it down. Uh, Krista with uh, David Ryan Salon. Krista, if you wanna come forward, you're, you can <coughs> remove your mouse, your mask once you get up here. And so you can, we can hear you better. Uh, new business in town. So. Welcome and talk about the business. So we are David Ryan Salon. Um, our business opened seven years ago in Flower Mound, Texas, and two years ago the owner decided he wanted to open a second location in Trophy Club. The reason we chose Trophy Club is because of the community that you guys have here. You guys really align with our values as a salon. We want to build a community and a salon where you guys can feel like you truly have an experience when you walk in. It is a community. It is that familial aspect. It's very professional yet you walk in and you feel like you're at home and you can just relax and forget about everything for the couple hours that you're there. 
So we definitely wanted to, we also saw that there was a gap in the marketplace. You guys have one salon that is right down the street from us with a few booths, but a lot of people we found were going to Dallas and Fort Worth and everywhere else in the DFW area and traveling 30 to 45 minutes to get to their hair done. So we thought it would be great to be able to provide those high quality services, such as cuts, colors, um, everything from your basic cut to um, specialty services, Brazilian blowouts, everything like that. So we thought that it would be great to build and grow our roots here. We wanna become a part of your community. We are um, supporting the Byron Nelson cheerleading team um, and we wanna keep it local and we really wanna dig our roots into the community and become a part of this because we really do align our values with who you are um, as a community. I love walking into the salon and everybody knows everybody because they work together, they live in the same neighborhoods and it's really a great place to be a part of. Um, so we have stylists who, none of our stylists have less than 10 years of experience. We can guarantee high quality cuts, colors, anything that you're looking for. And we have a variety of price ranges from our level one stylist to our master stylist. So we're here for everyone's budget, we're here for everyone's convenience, and we're just really excited to be a part of this community with you guys. Thank you. Council, anybody have any questions? We're glad to have you here also. And so do you take both men and women? Yes, sir. We take men and women. We do cuts and colors, and we go as far as men's highlights as well. Oh, I need some highlights. <laughs> oh, yeah. I definitely think you can blend that gray out. <laughs> I think it needs color. <laughs> I don't think highlights is going to do it. I don't know. I like the color. Oh, you do? Fits you. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I don't think it's going to change. All right. Well, oh. thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, and we're glad to have you in the area. All right, and so the next one is uh, Art Z, Art School for Kids and Adults. And I'm going to probably mess up your name. Nilu? That's right. Oh, my gosh. Close or? You got it perfect. Oh, wow. Okay. And you're welcome to move your mask if you want to, but if you can leave it, just speak up for us. Okay, thank you. I broke my leg playing kickball two weeks ago. <laughs> In uh, Trophy Club? In Trophy Club. Oh. oh. I was in the hooligans team, and it wasn't even I was, like, scoring the winning home run or something. I was just, we lost, and I broke my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I am Nilu, uh, and I'm the owner and art instructor right here in Trophy Club of Art Z. Uh, we've had this business open since October of 2018. We are right across from Byron Nelson in the shopping complex right behind Kim's Donut absolutely love the community. I've been a resident of Trophy Club for the past 10 years and couldn't think of a better place to open a business except Trophy Club. Um, loved kids, loved art right from beginning. Dove into my passion and I'm so glad I did that. Sure enough, COVID hit a little bit later, but we were doing great before that. Uh, we got some bumps with COVID, but we're getting past that. Um, what do we do as a business? We do art classes, for everyone ages three and up, kids to adults. Uh, we do sketching, shading, acrylic, watercolor, oil, oil pastel, clay, everything. Uh, we support our schools. I'm in the Byron PTA uh, board. I've uh, been there for years, love it, absolutely. Um, my kids have gone from Beck to Medlin to Byron and now have one kid in Byron and one is a college student now. Uh, time flies. Um, COVID has done a few good things. It has done a lot of bad things, but a few good things is we earned some out-of-state students. Uh, we got some out-of-city students from other cities, uh, so we're Zooming all our classes. All our classes are in Zoom and in person right now, so parents and students have the choice for either coming at the studio or attending classes via Zoom. Uh, we do art birthday parties. We do kids' art birthday parties. We did a ton the year we opened, tons and tons of party. Of course, COVID put a hiccup on that, and we're catching up again. Um, we do fundraisers for schools. We support all our schools with silent auction donation boxes or art baskets for donation, all of that. Um, we've hosted corporate parties for our dental offices, our doctor offices in the neighborhood. If you all ever want to have a team bonding, you know where to go. Uh, we can do a paint party for you. Um, we do fundraisers, we've done uh, a group of breast cancer survivor group that did a nice little warm party. It gave me goosebumps, the whole party, because they all talked about their stories, but uh, we were so glad they hosted with us. Um, that's it. 
that's it. Well, uh, what we're doing for COVID relation, uh, we are being extra cautious. All kids are being spaced six feet apart. Uh, we have reduced the class sizes. All teachers are wearing a mask the whole time. Uh, kids walk in, they use the hand sanitizer. We sanitize the studio before and after every class and parties. Um, like I said, classes are going on Zoom as well, so you have an option of not coming to studio. You can attend online as well. Um, and that's it. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Wish you the best uh, in your business. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? All right. <clears throat> Did we want to go with the okay, so Park and Rec's uh, board meeting report. Yeah, good evening, Council. Uh, just as everybody knows, the pool facilities have gone ahead and closed for the season. And the guys who did, uh, guys being the staff, has done an incredible job, especially overcoming uh, all the additional uh, items we had to take care of as far as COVID. And the feedback that our staff has received has been great from our residents. And currently, we have staff working with uh, the Greater Northwest Soccer Association and just trying to create a, a partnership or a sponsorship, I should say, uh, like they have over at Harney Park, like we have at Independence Park for TCR baseball. And we've also, as we talked about last uh, meeting, bocce ball and kickball leagues have started up in mid-September, and they're going to run through uh, the, the end part of this month, October. And that's, that's going well. And then staff has requested, though, that they provide both the pool revenue report and the uh, the look into as far as uh, construction for the pickleball courts for the November 16th uh, board meeting. So that, that's still forthcoming. So barring any questions, that's all I have. Thank you. Council, any questions? All right, hearing none, I'm just going to add an announcement uh, to give a little advance notice. Um, normally, uh, in November, we would have two council meetings. We have historically can canceled the last meeting because of Thanksgiving holidays. And so normally our meeting would have been on the 10th. And because of the election and the timing that we can canvass the election and swear in new elected people, we're going to move that 10th meeting to the 17th. So we're moving it one week. It's still on a Tuesday night. So if you'd like to come to that meeting to see uh, those people that are elected sworn in, that will be the night that we do that on the 17th. So if you'll mark your calendar for that. All right. We're down to the consent agenda. All matters listed on the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the town council and will be enacted by one motion. No separate discussion of these items will be held. <coughs> Only items removed from the consent agenda will be considered individually. We have items 2 through 11. Does anybody on council wish to remove any of the items? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion to approve consent items 2 through 11. Second. Motion by Bone, seconded by Garassi. All in favor, show your hands. It is unanimous. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? All right, so we have no regular agenda items. We just have executive session items. And for those residents that are here, um, after I read this, the council will uh, convene into executive session in the room over here, and then afterwards we'll come back into the main chambers to take any action. So pursuant to the following section of the Texas Government Code, Chapter 551, Open Meetings, the Council will convene an executive session to discuss the following. A, discussions of possible action deliberate the appointment of Park and Rec's board members pursuant to Texas Government Code, Section 551.074. Uh, we do have three uh, seats on the board. Uh, one is vacant, and uh, two uh, have people in those off in those seats. And uh, others, those two people and others have applied. And item B: discussion and possible action deliberate the appointment of the animal shelter advisory board members pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074. And we do have seats there that have applicants, and also ones expiring. So it is uh, 7.20, and we will go into executive session. I guess that's okay. Oh, he blinked it. There we go. Yeah. Look at wow. that. Wow. All right. Big brother. It is uh, 7.42, and we have reconvened into regular session. Item number 13A, take appropriate action regarding resolution 2020-17 for the appointment of members to the Park and Recreation Board. 
I would entertain a motion. I move to approve resolution 20, uh, 2017 to reappoint Mindy Bone, Dean Murray, and Tiffany Nifis as the chair to the Parks and Rec Board. I also recommend that we uh, move forward uh, Steve Babineau uh, to the vacant seat. And I second. All right. We have a motion by Michael and a second. Um, <laughs> okay. I've lost my brain here. Monger. Monger. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All those in favor, show your hands. All right, it is unanimous. It passed. Uh, item number B, uh, take appropriate action regarding resolution 2020-18 for the appointment of members of the Animal Shelter Advisory Board. Do uh, someone wish to make a motion? I move to approve resolution 2020-18 for the appointment of members to the Animal Shelter Advisory Board. And that's Susan Edstrom and Amanda Gonzalez. And Susan Edstrom is? In the role of municipal officer. Very good. Thank you. All right. Do I have a second? Second. All right. I have a motion by Munger, a second by Garassi. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for the vote. All those in favor, show your hands. It is approved. It is uh, 8.45. No. 7.45, and we are adjourned.